friends, I I don't know what happened to Alexander's go to meeting. Um, I believe we are online now again. Are we? Can anyone? Yes. Ah, okay. Yes, we're now online. I apologize for um, technical difficulties. The, uh, we share our platform with several groups, practicing right relations uh, mm -hmm. between groups. And so there were some um, miscommunication. Uh, so other group was trying to start uh, their webinar. So we uh, now we are good. And so we can now start our work. So apologies. And um, um, let us just start in you that with the recording, we will have an um, uh, edited version. So welcome to our Gemini circle of the Creative Lab Awakening the Souls of Our Nations. We continue working with the Gemini full moon energies. It's, we can consider that it's last hours of the five days period, but if we consider seven days periods for the full moon, we still have a good chunk of time to work with this unique energy, distributing the impulse of the higher interlude. This is the third meeting in the trilogy of the Gemini gatherings organized together by the 2025 initiative and the Hikal group. It's a special opportunity for all of us and we grateful for you joining our circle, connecting from around the world, linking with the light of our minds and love with, of our hearts. Let us begin. Over to you, Uta. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Alexander. Thank you for all these efforts of right relations, weaving many of us together in the esoteric community. Chapeau for this work. Yeah, and welcome to our Creative Nations Lab. So here we come together, monthly spiritual students from many nations. And this is a practice lab for planetary eldership, learning to oversee the affairs of the family of nations and um, training the skills which may be required for members of a United Nations of the future. So today's lab session is not only the trilogy of uh, during this full moon, but also another trilogy, the last part uh, of the initiative of creating a safe space for difficult conversations, which we hold together with the 2025 initiative coordination group. <clears throat> so over this festival period, we have worked with a quote from Dina 1, page 707, uh, where the Tibetan speaks about the establishing of the outer ashrams as part of the externalization of the hierarchy. And we have distilled from it three consecutive steps uh, can it be, oops, can, can the slide be shown? The first slide. Yeah. Okay, so these steps. Um, the first step, establishing a basic harmony between all group members. It sounds very easy, but uh, we know it's not really easy. Um, and we focused on this over the Aries Festival, 
and especially during the conference for the unification of Europe, which was held by the Aquarian Wisdom Center. And then we carried the flame of unity, of unification with us the whole month and uh, during the Vesak, which we celebrated within the framework of the University of the Seven Rays Conference, um, we focused this work on the alignment with each other on soul levels and with our elders on high, on the second requirement, and we called it United in the Vesak Valley. <clears throat> So, through this building of a unified telepathic field, we may be enabled to recognize the energy patterns playing out in the world and to start working with them in cooperation with the inner ashrams. And this is, of course, we are just at the beginning of um, getting a sense of what that may be, what that would require. And um, today is a step in this direction. We will use this uh, Gemini opportunity to begin looking at relationships between nations. So we will do it through a meditative snapshot of the relationships of our own nation. It's a different angle now. And we will look at the relationships with the neighbors of the, of the nation and also the relationship field within the larger family of nations. Yeah, and as always, we start our work with first stabilizing and refining our workspace itself, our council chamber of elders in training. And we can, we can already realize that with each shared meditation, um, we are making our council chamber more precise and we add substance to this dedicated workspace in the subtle realm. And today we will add an element to the council chamber. We will bring with us the fire of the will to love, the will to right relations, which we have brought from Aries to Taurus and now to Gemini and we place it into the center of our council chamber. And at the end of our session, we will distribute it to the world. So let us do our first meditation. Let's withdraw our attention inwards, touching base with our place of inner stillness. Taking a few deep breaths to ground in our body, and in the embrace of the earth. And we are calmly present as a soul in incarnation.
fine tuning now our vibration, assuming the role of an elder for the family of nations. Taking a moment to calibrate our heart to the will to love. Emulating the Christ. Linking into this place between the shoulder blades where will and love unite. And making now our mind as inclusive as possible. Expanding to a planetary perspective. And holding it for a moment. Affirming our intention to serve humanity to the best of our present capability. Taking our position now on a pinnacle overlooking our nation, midway between its soul and its outer life. Feeling the love for our nation. And also our freedom from it. And now letting ourselves be drawn to the beautiful building set in nature, which we already know quite well. Entering into the quiet and clear and spacious chamber. taking our places in geometric order. Sense the atmosphere in the chamber, this geometric harmony Notice the flame of our combined sustained will to love in the center of the chamber. Feeling our resonance with it. We are united by it. And 
and establishing now our telepathic alignment, our mental field, letting it clarify and stabilize. And we invoke now the presence of our co-workers in the ashram who guide and support our nation's work. Let us attune to their vibration and making ourselves available for growing into a more direct working relationship. Let us take a few minutes in silence for this communion and attunement. Let us bring now the received impressions down into the group mind. And taking another moment for this consolidation before we start our sharing. Okay, 
So let us keep the meditative quality as we now share this experience of the council chamber. Let's remember that through our voices, we add substance to the chamber, mental substance and astral buddhic qualities. So this sharing is part of a, an act of sacred building. And uh, let us attempt to keep our sharing brief but full, as DK calls it. So let's aim at not more than two minutes to a sharing. And please raise your hand when you're ready. Lerata, please unmute yourself. Thank you. Sorry about that. Um, I just want to acknowledge and give appreciation for the strength of the invocative strength of this meditation. Um, my experience of it. I don't know that I've been coming to this group or how many times, it's very minimal, maybe counting on one hand, but um, it feels to me is that the invocative strength of this meditation and the level of the energy coming from within the group through the direction of this meditation is that this is a one of the most powerful vehicles that I've experienced in a while. Um, the purity, the, the direction, the intensity, and the pinpoint focus of this meditation, there is no doubt in my mind that we will reach hmm, new levels. Let me just put it that way. As we cross the threshold into new and greater levels on a planetary um, in our planetary world, in our planetary life. I just wanted to say that. It was very, very powerful. Thank you. Thank you, Lirata. I think this, this uh, rhythmical work, staying with the same outline and each time a little bit refining it together through yeah. all our bearings, is really building something. And yeah. Yeah has come for this practicing practicing being this pinpoint focused vehicle <laughs> thank you hello everyone this is Andrea, and I had a really interesting shape come very clearly to me today. And I think some of it was because, Uta, I think uh, maybe I, I missed it before, but you, you used the word geometric in the way we entered that cancel chamber. And then again, in a way that brought a design to me, which was interesting. And m m my sense of the council chamber is actually without a building. I, it, is in a, it is in a clearing within very tall pine trees. But today, with that invocation of the 
the, ge the, the, the geometric component, I found myself looking from above and saw what I think of as it's a two-dimensional Merkaba, and which I think is Metatron's cube. And I really don't know very much about that, except it is a symbol mm -hmm. that I actually have. And so I, it, that symbol for me today just became very apparent as I sort of s stood over us and looked down onto that council chamber. Mm. Yeah, thank you for this for this feedback or this uh, this um, impression. I think it's really very valuable for all of us to share our impressions and learn a bit more what we are on the subtle plane actually doing. Yeah, and the geometric. Mm -hmm. That's, there's a lot to uh, to uh, experiment with. Thank you, Andrea. Hi, this is Helen uh, from Israel. Uh, for me too, this meditation was uh, very evocative. I also thank you, uh, Andrea, for mentioning the Metatron and the Merkava, because I had a, a sense of, uh, of etherical space um, in perfect geometric form. And um, this was something physical almost. And the flame in the middle that has been brought from Aries to Visak to the Gemini full moon is uh, an added element of uh, <laughs> maybe of uh, resonance and and uh, and I would I don't know what words to use maybe action we we are beginning to do it we're holding it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, we're beginning to do it. <laughs> Thanks. Mm -hmm. I can go on. Skrede from Denmark. Uh, thank you, Uta, for this meditation. And for me, this flame, when we are sitting around this flame in our chamber, of elders i i have a feeling that this this flame is playing a vital role and also for our work in the future i can't decide what it is right now but i really have a strong feeling about this flame in the middle so thank you mm. Mm. thank you Yes, here is Annette from Germany. And I also want to refer to this new added element, the fire in the center of the council chamber. It was so powerful to me today. And for me, it was like uh, representing the inner unity of all the differences and diversities of the nations. And for me, it was like, like like planting a seed in visual visualizing it and and having it in our center so thank you very much hmm. yeah yes it's this this flame through all this focus uh throughout the many months actually of the whole i think the esoteric community we can say that we have focused 
uh, on unity for quite a while and now over this festival even more so this this flame this visual uh, element is imbued with so much of this work that has been done by all of us thank you Thank you. Um, this is Deborah from Santa Fe, New Mexico. And um, thank you for this meditation uh, and for, yes, mentioning the geometry, which was very evocative uh, to me as well, that um, a couple of things in terms of the detail of the environment I've always seen it as largely a crystalline or glass uh, uh, building, uh, but that uh, today it had a ceiling, a, a roof of a three-sided pyramid um, that wasn't there before. And inside, all around the outer walls was a continuous uh, bench or banco that uh, was emerald. It was not just emerald green, it was emerald. That was very powerfully new and with the flame, it, it 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 was it was like the flame of synthesis, but in a rotating merkaba of the um, cerulean blue, the golden, and the violet light just really strobing the way Sirius does on a clear night in the sky. It was uh, uh, that flame, it came down into the center, uh, like a pedestal um, uh, holding the flame. But then going into the ashram and connecting with when we focused on our own nation, um, I became alert to uh, leaders, both esoteric and political, in from you know my nation, um, such as Lincoln. Um, and then more recently, John Lewis, Elijah Cummings, um, and others, who, um, and, the, and then I became aware of, of young, new uh, leadership, or at least incarnate leadership on the physical plane. <clears throat> and I saw direct, un unimpeded telepathic uh, rapport and overshadowing between the discarnate and the incarnate leadership in the singular effort to bring transmutation, transformation, transfiguration uh, into the world. So th those, those were my impressions today. Thank you, Deborah. I still remember uh, one of your last sharings, very um, rich of the um, council chamber. And now it is changing with our work, with our continued work. Yeah, and it's it's fascinating. This, on the one hand, the figurative, and on the other hand, the geometrical having our visualization in the meditation and having our picture that is now with this added element, the pinnacles and uh, 
the council chamber in a geometric form. So I believe next month we will be talking a bit more about this, how to, how we are building a lighted space together. Um, but yes, something is really um, brooding here, wanting to be better, deeper understood. Thank you. Um, Desha from Canada here. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm grateful to people naming the Rancaba because I work with sacred geometry a lot and use that form in my own healing work. While I didn't see it, I sensed the energy of that template. But the piece that I wanted to give voice to was the feeling of clarity within the ashram, the, the, the sense that, yes, we entered a different relationship. And there was a calm, peaceful, purposeful, clear, almost crystalline energy as every energy involved with that form was engaged in purposeful forward moving activity. I think that's as much as I should share. Thank you. Mm. Desha, thank you. These phrases that we are weaving here, purposeful, forward-moving activity, um, I get a real sense of how we are building quality, receiving or perceiving this, what we have already built, what we are building, and then by sharing our impressions, we continue this process. Thank you. This is Sabina from Klangschale, Germany. I would like to add my impression for the for the building. Um, it seems to me like a timeless heart chamber of mankind, which is re-established for our now for quite a long time building every month. And um, it feels like this six angle bee house where the bees are putting their little ones inside. And this is constructed by humming with the wings. And today our, our invocation was like this humming. So what for me came in from the invocation of the higher planes was like an ocean of unconditional fiery love and um, yeah, empathy for mankind. And this was nourishing the fire in the middle in an incredible way. This is my impression I want to bring in. Thank you, Sabina. Oh. The bee, you bring in the bees which is also a six angle, as you said. Very interesting what we are here weaving together or becoming aware together. <clears throat> Thank you.
Maria Cristina, you are unmuted. We cannot hear you. There is seems like there is a problem with your microphone. I see you're trying to mute and mute yourself, but we still cannot hear you. No, this is no, this this is this is Margot from Canada. The word geometry, geometric, certainly rang a bell, struck a chord right at the beginning. And I wasn't so focused on the chamber, but more on the relationship of Canada and our only neighbor, the United States of America. And the sense of the energies flowing in in each country and in Canada of an ordering, an ordering quality. And in the USA, it was it was a bit more chaotic almost, but a, a, a pushing, a moving, a, a definitely strong forward movement uh, toward an ideal. That was Moving toward a very purposeful, precise ideal. Mm. There, there's just a brighter brighter scintillating coherence of the chamber. Mm -hmm. And an animation, more of an animated quality of the elders within the chamber. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. The, 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 bu the building. Sorry, would go ahead? No, no. Finish. Then I have. Just, just the building that that you and others have mentioned. Um, the the sequential step by step by step as this continues to grow and strengthen and broaden and deepen and forward move forward with great gratitude mm. Mm. thank you margo this animated quality we had this a few times uh, this new activity activeness so also animated quality of elders of this cooperation growing more direct cooperation yeah thanks uh hi this is uh, jill from uk a thought came to me because i've been thinking about it a lot lately i suppose about um the ashram that 
groups that I'm in are hoping to join or are destined to join. And I've been thinking that uh, that would be Ray 1, Ray 2 or Ray 3, but I have read now that there's um, an ashram of synthesis so that um, all rays will be into one ashram, which has made me feel better because I often feel that I'm, a, I'm not the same ray as a lot of the people I'm in the group with, which is but I wondered if I should be in the groups at times so I'm just sort of um, thinking that that ashram would will be run by Master DK, Master R and Master Maria and I found that quite a heartening thought. Thank you. Mm, thank you Jill. This is uh, surely something that uh, will come our way to to explore further, deeper, much deeper um yeah thank you maybe one more sharing because we have another meditation before us i see judy can you hear me yes Um, it is fascinating that so many of us focused on and telepathically affirming, I would add, on the geometric, the word geometric and the greater anchoring. For me, it became, it took me straight to Masonic work in a way. Mm -hmm. um, incorporates very strongly the four directions at my sharing of the visualization of the temple includes those ring of trees but then there is an actual steps wide steps that we ascend as we approach and marble columns i suppose you would say circular structure unlike masonry i would just share that image that i have of our temple and would note the first formula that we are given by the Tibetan master, the, which is, may we be led from darkness to light, which concerns the for integration into an ashram. It concerns, and here I read, the revelation of group feeling. And again, um, I recall reading about the astral fretfulness that, you know, was evident in that conference. And as we come closer, not just as souls, but as soul infused personality, there is an astral fretfulness that relates to the dissipation of glamour through light. So I guess the focus was a little on may we be led from darkness to light the first of the formulas for integration into ashramic life. Mm -hmm. Thank you, and thank you, and thank you. Thanks, Maria Christina. Masonic work, interesting. Much to ponder. Yeah, we need to go on. Um want to highlight um, bringing together what we are doing here, the Council Chamber of Elders in training 
and uh, our focus now together with the 2025 initiative on building a safe space so it's quite it's different aspects of the same thing safe space for difficult conversations and uh, so in our chamber here we meet as colleagues working for the common good of humanity as a whole uh, which means we work together no matter what is going on in our own nation or between our nations we hold the inner unity in our council chamber no matter what i think we have this very very well established already so that's the first requirement that we pointed out before of uh, developing into an outer ashram and we are learning to establish a stable telepathic field we are holding this field i can feel it also now in the sharing also in the sharing which is more difficult to hold this med meditative telepathic field and within it really a closer working relationship with our elders can come about when we calm down a bit this astral fretfulness yeah like a limpid pool and um, and in this higher alignment this resonance with the inner ashram there we can discern when the waters are clear so to speak then we 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 may discern the underlying energy patterns playing out on the world stage um would like to read this uh little paragraph of uh, of dk about this um aspect of the work alexander could you put the the, the next slide on please it's a bit of a handful the disciples learn to comprehend through discussion and experiment the nature of the energies which are seeking world expression and the nature of the forces which must be reduced to powerlessness if these new incoming energies are to prove effective in bringing about the desired changes under the plan and uh, so this is what we aim to do here to learn in the Na nation's lab through meditative experiment and discussion reflection to bring our different viewpoints and impressions together for them to merge to come into resonance and to discern together a more comprehensive planetary perspective so this is a work in process we are just at the beginning we are pioneers in it but let's for a moment imagine if we once we will have this planetary perspective once we can hold this field and, and have a look then we as a world group as the ajna center of the planet can become like we shared now this uh, this is came a little bit out already in this we can become creative and active in a causal way really like an ajna center and um, 
we as the world group, we are this instrument through which the hierarchy perforce must work. They cannot do it without us, they cannot do it for us. The law of free will requires us to do it ourselves. So it really is on us to intuit the plan and then to modify, qualify and adapt it and then apply it. So our, what we will do now to look at the relationships of our nation with other nations is one step towards perceiving the energy patterns within the family of nations. So let's do now uh, <laughs> something that we can call a relationship snapshot of our nation. And um, let's do it very almost playfully, yes, as a first look, a first general impression. No striving now to get it right or complete. We will surely have more, more sessions on this where we will penetrate into greater detail. Yeah, and after the meditation, let's try to be really succinct also because we will not have much time and to close our impressions into one synthetic statement, one sentence, one phrase, capturing only this first general impression, our impression, it's an ex in a subjective experience. Okay, so let us bring our awareness back into the council chamber. Let's just sit within it for a moment in stillness, breathing, and realigning in ourselves. And assembling our hearts again around the fire of our combined will to love. And refocusing our telepathic field, synchronizing it again. and aligning again with our co-workers in the ashram, holding this connection. And now within this clear field, let now our combined gaze turn towards our planet. So if we look at it from above, and take a moment to observe the human family, which is ordered into nations. Just an impression, not straining to get to get the um, the world map straight. 
And let's see if we can look at the space in between the nations, the international field of relationships. And gently let us focus in on our own nation now. Looking at it from above, from the council chamber. And look at the field around it, the field of relations it has with its neighbors. Just a general sense, no straining now. Let the impressions come as they want. And now let us expand it a bit, probing into the field of relationships of our nation within the wider region. See if we can discern the energy dynamics within this a little bit wider relational field. Take again a couple of minutes for this. Okay, let us touch back for a moment into the council chamber, realigning, resting for a bit, recentering in our telepathic field. In each other's presence and linked with the elders in the ashram. And let have, let's have one more look downwards. 
observing our nation, its presence and interactions within the family of nations as a whole. Just a general impression, whatever comes up. Okay, with a blessing, let us release this observation and bring our consciousness back into the council chamber, take, taking one more moment in each other's presence, replenishing, resting for a bit. Okay, so let us open again the floor for our meditative sharing. This is Margot. When I heard, look at the space between nations, all the political borders fell away. And here on Turtle Island, the Americas, what came up or forward was something that's called Cascadia, which encompasses Alaska, British Columbia, Washington, Oregon, and California. And the... the Margo, wait a minute. I would like to re-emphasize not sharing the whole experience, but just a sentence. Otherwise, it will be too much, too much detail for now. Okay, thank you. Unity. Oh. Thanks. Children of I go? Children of the world playing in the skirts of the mother of the world. Mm. 
multi-dimensional right relationships. Um, I see the UK as not united anymore and I see Britain as rather isolated through arrogance having broken off with Europe and alienated the Scottish and possibly now the Welsh. To everyone I meet, room for breathing together. To everyone I meet, I ask if they would like to chat or have tea. We are on our way to the sublimation uh, uh, UN United Nations. Hmm. Hmm. I got um, the masks of old Piscean personas fall away revealing ancient brotherhood. I would like to encourage also those who don't usually speak to just uh, give a voice to your nation's relational field, maybe with just one word. Hi, this is a fight from Jerusalem. Very difficult to feel belong. Daniela here. I'm currently in Croatia. And um, there are two words. Tough friendship. What was the first word, Daniela? Tough, tough, as in tough love, you know. Tough, oh. <laughs> tough mm -hmm. but friendship still. Thank you. This is Shirley. As a collective of souls, we journey together. Annette from Germany, being a bridge builder. Maria, you're unmuted. Please unmute yourself. Hi. Uh, today is my first day. Uh, 
but I was thinking a lot about uh, soul consciousness, you know, between humanity. Thank you so much for the powerful meditation. Hello, Maria. From where are you? I am from uh, New York, the United States. Huh. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, for myself, it was hard lines that began to melt in the flame. Perhaps let us uh, uh, share where we come from. United States, Pennsylvania, courageous will to good. There were several hands raised, and then they was low. They were lowered, so I didn't catch who wanted to speak. Please raise your hand again and just keep it raised. It'll be easier. There was someone again just raised and immediately lowered it down. I didn't catch. It's hard to tell when the hand is raised. On my computer, there's an arrow going down when it's raised, and when it's off, the arrow's going up. So it's confusing. In the silence, I could hear the frogs in the background, and the, the frogs were saying, sounding in harmony. <laughs> Beautiful. I, I said courageous will to good. I really meant to say, I mean, I'll include good, but courageous will to love. Oh, hello. I am Eleanor from Sweden. Uh, and um, <laughs> now I waited so long to speak, so I forgot really what to say. Uh, but uh, Sweden is a country that has always, oh, only one sentence, so achieving. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, this was, this was uh, wrong. Achieving? Con wrong? Achie achieving, uh, uh, I forgot the word in English, but, uh, consensus, consensus, maybe. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is international, I think. Yeah, yeah, okay. Achieving consensus. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you one. for the meditation. Hi, good day. It's Ota from South Africa. 
um, for South Africa is detachment and for Poland is service. Thank you. Could you please repeat the last sentence? We, we didn't hear that. Detachment and? For Poland is service with love. Is what? Service with love. You said for Poland, right, Beata? That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Well, thank you for this deep sharing. This oh, weaving. There is a couple more. Can we listen for a couple more? Yes. Maria Cristina. I've spoken already, but I was just very aware of the second ray soul of the United States. And during this this festival of Gemini, when the second ray is so prevalent, um, the opportunity to evoke that second ray soul was powerful. Thank you. And Karen wrote, our ability to share our resources is a core issue in how we create harmony with other nations. And I can say for myself, the uh, impression that came was the phrase for Ukraine, standing for what is right. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much for this deepening that uh, seems to have happened here today. Let us hold for another moment, our shared fire of the will to love, the will to right relations. Let us have the last slide, please. Let us pour now into our international group and through each of us into our respective nations, this will to love as a unifying substance to all groups onwards towards embodiment in cancer. Just let it flow out, stream force in all directions. With joy. And slowly returning to our personal field now, to our physical surroundings. And letting our light shine. And grounding it as a blessing into the earth. Oh.
Bye bye, friends. See you again in Cancer. Thank you.